Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Capsule CRM. I'm going to cover a very quick, basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Capsule CRM works. So if you have no idea about Capsule CRM and how to get started, then this video is for you. Capsule CRM is a powerful tool designed to help you manage your contacts, projects, and sales opportunities. In this tutorial, we'll take you through the basics of Capsule CRM and show you how to get started with this platform. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I'll go ahead and jump right into the Capsule CRM tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account. And if you already have an account, just skip this step. It's important to note that Capsule CRM offers a 14-day free trial, which means you can try out the software for two weeks before committing to a subscription. During this trial period, you'll have access to all of the features and tools available in Capsule, so you can fully explore the platform and see if it's the right fit for your needs. Capsule CRM offers three different plans to suit the needs of businesses of all sizes, professional, teams, and enterprise. The paid plan starts at $18 per month. It's an ideal choice for small teams that need to stay organized and boost their sales efforts. So here we are in my Capsule CRM account. First I'll show you what you can actually find in Capsule CRM, and then I'll show you how we can use Capsule CRM. So after logging into your Capsule CRM account, you'll be taken to the dashboard. The dashboard is simple and easy to use. On the upper left side of the dashboard, you will see Capsule CRM main tabs, including the Dashboard tab, People and Organizations, Calendar and Tasks, Sales Pipeline, Projects, Reports, and Workflow Automation. The Dashboard tab is the default tab of Capsule CRM, and it includes all your tasks. Here you can add tasks, people, import contacts, and start logging your company activity. You will see your account history displayed on this tab. The People and Organizations tab shows all the people and organizations you have added. You can see the list of all people and organizations and the last import. You can also filter the list by tags, name, type, title, and more. Moreover, you can import contacts and add people and add organizations on this tab. The Calendar and Tasks tab manages your calendar and tasks. This tab provides a complete overview of everything your business is currently working on, making it easy to focus on what needs to be done and what's coming next. You can add tasks quickly throughout Capsule and use them to keep track of your calls and meetings. Custom task categories allow you to create tasks specific to your business. In Capsule CRM, the Sales Pipeline tab tracks and manages potential sales opportunities from start to finish. The pipeline consists of different stages that a prospect goes through, from being a lead to becoming a customer. By tracking each opportunity through the pipeline, businesses can understand where each prospect is in the sales process and take appropriate actions to move them closer to a sale. To manage the sales pipeline in Capsule CRM, you can click on the List button to access the List view. This view allows for more advanced filtering of opportunities based on a range of criteria, such as whether they are open or closed, and when they are expected to close. By using these filters, users can gain a better understanding of the status of each opportunity and take action to move them toward a successful sale. The Sales Pipeline Dashboard in Capsule CRM can be accessed by clicking on the Dashboard icon. It provides an overview of the pipeline's performance through four components. The pipeline forecast shows forecasted sales over time based on the expected value of open opportunities and their expected closed dates. The pipeline by milestone shows the number of opportunities at each milestone in the pipeline. The pipeline by tag displays the top 30 used tags and the number of opportunities in each tag. Lastly, the conversion rate displays the percentage of one opportunities out of all one and lost opportunities in the last 30. 90, and 365 days and allows for easy access to a list of opportunities in each category. The Projects tab allows you to manage your projects, track their progress from planning through completion, and add boards and board templates. The Report tab in Capsule CRM provides a way to view the activities completed by each user and the specific activity types. It offers reports that display data for all users on the account. 
Reports can be filtered by date with standard time filters such as week, month, or quarter, or by defining a custom time frame. To filter by date, you can click the date picker at the top right of the screen and select your preferred date range. With the Report tab, businesses can gain insights into user activity and performance, helping them make informed decisions and improve their sales processes. The Workflow Automation tab in Capsule CRM allows you to create automated workflows for your opportunities and projects. This means you can set up tasks to be done automatically, such as assigning an opportunity to a specific person or team, changing the status of an opportunity, or adding a track. However, this feature is only available for teams. Once you upgrade to the team's plan, you can use this feature. By automating tasks, businesses can save time and effort, reduce manual work, and focus on important activities that help them grow and be more successful. In addition to the main tabs, there are also other important buttons located at the upper right side of the Capsule CRM dashboard. One of these buttons is the Add button. This button is used to quickly and easily add a person, organization, or opportunity to your account. With this button, you can also create new projects and import contacts directly into your account. Another important section located on the upper right side of the dashboard is the Profile section. This section allows you to edit your preferences and manage your settings. Additionally, you can reach out to support if you need any assistance with your account. The Profile section is a useful tool for managing your account and keeping your information up to date. Now, how to add projects in Capsule CRM. To add a project in Capsule CRM, start by clicking the Add Plus button located at the top right corner of the dashboard. From the drop-down menu, select Project. This will take you to another page where you can add a new project. To add a new project, begin by entering the name of the project, followed by the value of the person or organization associated with the project. You can also add a brief description of the project. Set the expected close date of the project to help track deadlines and ensure timely completion. In addition, enter tags that are related to your project. Tags can be used to group and filter projects based on common attributes. You can also select a track from the drop-down menu. Tracks are a series of predefined steps that can be used to guide the project from start to finish. Once you have filled in all the required fields correctly, click on the Save button. This will create your project in Capsule CRM and it will be displayed on the Projects tab. You can now view and manage your project, add tasks, set deadlines, and collaborate with your team members. If you want to add a new person to your dashboard, you can do so easily by clicking the Add Plus button located at the top right corner of your dashboard. Then from this list, select Person. After selecting Person, you will be taken to a new page where you can enter the details of the person you want to add. First, select the appropriate title for the person, such as Mr., Mrs., or Doctor. Then, enter their first and last name into the designated fields. In the next section, you will need to enter the person's job title and the name of their organization. You can also add relevant tags related to their job, which will help you to easily search and filter your contacts in the future. Finally, in the Contact Details section, you can enter the person's mobile number, email address, website, and any relevant social networks. Once you have filled in all the required fields, you can click on Save to add the person to your dashboard. By following these simple steps, you can easily add a person to your dashboard and keep your information organized and up-to-date. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Capsule CRM. There are more things to learn about Capsule CRM, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.